Hi, fam. Welcome back. Hope you guys are having a great day. I'm Joe. I'm Dan. And we're back with another reaction. It's another pitch meeting in the MCU-verse. Which one is this, Dan? We're finally moving on to the good stuff with Avengers Infinity War. We're getting there, huh? Mm-hmm. I don't remember there being anything wrong with this movie, but they found something. Yes, indeed. Cheers to you, fam. Enjoy. So you have that Avengers Infinity War script for me? Yes, sir, I do. And this one's all about a guy named Thanos who's trying to gather Infinity Stones. Oh, what's he like? Well, let's just say if Bruce Willis was a Pokemon, this is probably <laughs> what he evolved them to. <laughs> Ooh, scary. Yeah, this movie's gonna get real dark. Sounds like stuff is getting serious. Oh, yeah. I mean, you'll still have time for a quick, lighthearted Ben & Jerry's commercial, right? Oh, Ben & Jerry's? Yeah, for sure. Okay, great, because I already cashed that check. I, I actually to... threw in a fair amount of jokes to balance out the darker moments. Keeping that Marvel vibe to it, what kind of jokes are we talking? Well, I had this idea that maybe some characters call other ones by names that aren't their real names, right? Right. And so, yeah, that'll be a lot of the jokes. I'm not sure I get it. Well, like, Tony calls this bad guy Ebony Ma Squidward. Okay, yeah, I guess that's funny. And Thor calls Rocket Rabbit. Yeah, okay, he's not a rabbit. And Tony calls Star-Lord Mr. Lord. Uh-huh. And he also calls him Flash Gordon. Right. And Thor calls Groot Tree. All that character says is his own name. And Star-Lord calls Thanos Grimace. So you're, like, really leaning into this name thing. And Spider-Man's gonna think that Doctor Strange is a made-up name. Are people gonna notice that so many of the jokes are based on character names? I don't think think so, unless some jerk on the internet points it out. Well, oh okay my. then. So tell me more about Thanos. You mean Pokemon Bruce Willis? Please stop making name jokes. That's not his real name. That's not his real name. Yeah, I get the joke. Well, Pokemon Bruce Willis thinks that there aren't enough resources to go around, so he wants to destroy half of all life in the universe. Oh, wow. Does that include, like, plants and animals? Mm, I don't know. Probably not, because those are natural resources. What if there are planets where there are just plants and animals? I don't know. Maybe half of them die in those cases? What if there's a planet where there's, like, a million animals and and one dude. I don't know. Would half the animals die or would half that dude die? I don't <laughs> know. Question. Would his left side just go limp or something? I mean, I'm hoping people don't <laughs> think about Thanos' plan this much. It's just something he wants to do real bad. Okay. It's more of a shut your brain off and enjoy kind of thing. Done and done. Anyway, Gamora's like, well, Thanos can't get the soul stone because I'm the only one who knows where it is. Okay, so she goes into hiding? No, she goes directly to him. What? Oh I mean, God. she tells Star-Lord to kill her if Thanos manages to grab her. Still, that seems pretty irresponsible. Oh yeah, very much so. Huh. And Thanos has the reality stone, so he easily grabs Gamora from the Guardians. What does he use the reality stone for? More bubbles than you'd expect. <laughs> oh, bubbles are okay. tight. But essentially, he can make whatever he wants become reality, so like Drax and Mantis turn into slinkies and stuff. Well, that's game <laughs> over, right? If he could turn everyone into slinkies, that, that's game over. Yeah, he can literally alter reality. Wow. But hmm. he's not really gonna do it that much. Oh, why not? Because. Fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> so is Doctor Strange gonna use the time stone to save the day like at the end of his movie? No, he's not. How come? Because. Fair enough. Yeah, here's the thing. Based on the powers we've established for everybody, there's probably a lot of ways they could bring down Thanos. Yeah, it feels like fans are gonna point all of those out online. That's right, and that's why I included a scene I like to call Shut the hell up, everyone. <laughs> oh, I like the sound of that. What is it? We're gonna have Doctor Strange look into the future and say that out of 14 million outcomes, he only sees them winning one. Oh, wow. very smart. Yeah, so anytime someone online tries to criticize the movie, somebody else will chime in like, well, it probably had to happen that way because that's the only way Doctor Strange saw them winning. Exactly. Mm. Shut the hell up, everyone. <laughs> there you go. So what else happens in the movie? Well, some of the characters blast a hole in a ship and Ebony Ma goes flying out into space. But then he flies back like Mary Poppins? No, I thought of that, but then I was like, this isn't Star Wars. Bummer. <laughs> Sorry. So what do they do about the hole in the spaceship? Well, Iron Man closes it up because he has this cool new thing where his suit is like basically magic. Oh, it is. Yeah, it fixes up holes in spaceships and morphs into whatever he needs in any given situation, and it closes up massive stab wounds. How is that possible? Nanotechnology. Yeah, but mm -hmm. what does that mean exactly? Nanotechnology. But how exactly? Nanotechnology. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, nanotechnology. Sounds good. Yeah. So what do some of the other characters do in the movie? Like, what's up with Captain America? Oh, he has a beard now. That's it? Pretty much. <laughs> what about Black Panther? He goes, you Bombay. Black Widow? She's gonna have this little moment where she's surprised to see that Bruce is back on Earth, even though he's the one who called them. Oh, well, that's sweet. She's also gonna be part of a lady fight where all the women team up to fight the female antagonist. That's progressive, right? Maybe. Uh, what about Winter Soldier? Know. He has a new arm and he picks up a raccoon. Hawkeye? <laughs> Not even in it. <laughs> Ant-Man? Nah. I gotta say, it feels like a lot of characters are getting sidelined. Well, you asked me to shove 75 main characters into a single movie, you sick bastard. <laughs> uh, I did do that. I haven't slept since 2015 and I hate you so much. Hey, throw that Tyrion Lannister dude in there. I like 
like him. Please stop. Please stop. <laughs> All right, so you're going to have everybody fight a big generic army of bad guys? That wouldn't be an Avengers movie without that. Yeah, no so way. what's this army going to look like? Well, picture what it would look like if Venom took over Goro from Mortal Kombat. Ooh. Okay. So yeah, like a million Venom Goros. Very cool. And how do the heroes end up stopping Thanos? Oh, they don't. What? Yeah, no, he's going to get all the stones and erase half of all life in the universe. But it's going to be hard to wrap up a movie if the bad guy wins. Actually, super easy. Barely, Barely an in. in oh, you're disappearing. <laughs> okay, and, and you're gone. Okay, that doesn't feel satisfying at all. I mean, I know you're going to come back because we have a bunch of other meetings planned. And there it is. Yeah, okay, that's, that's what I thought. The guy will return. <laughs> <laughs> he's got to. Who's going to write the scripts? I know. Supposedly, there's another one of these anyway. <laughs> They did use a lot of different names there, didn't they, to describe people? I mean, some of them were funny. I thought calling him a rocket rabbit was kind of kind of goofy because he's clearly not a rabbit. Mm -hmm. The other ones, though, is clearly just everybody being snarky for no reason. It's almost like you're intentionally being a douchebag, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, man, what did he do to you? Come on. I swear, half these superheroes are really maladjusted people. They are. Especially Tony Stark because, I mean, he's already a billionaire who has, like, really poor social skills mm -hmm. in general i mean he's, he's got good social skills when he wants but most of the time it's like you're you're mean to people because you can be and we said the same thing about dr strange too like yeah. as a doctor he was kind of a brick and i really don't see much reason to think he's different i think that's fair enough yeah. and now that they're pricks with magic and in extraordinary abilities mm -hmm. shit, it only makes it worse <laughs> and the thing is they're all a bunch of heroes too so they're all like arguing for who gets to be the most heroic i know right so that's pretty good there i was I think they hit the nail on the head with Thanos here. He had all these different stones with different, you know, universe-altering abilities. Mm -hmm. And he didn't barely use them at all like like that. Like the Reality Stone, he used it a couple of times to, to evade what he thought was his current enemy. Yeah. But he didn't, like, really get after it to, like, destroy an entire planet. I say, he didn't get anywhere near the full potential of that. Because realistically, if you can alter reality, you can... You know, replace heads of government, cause wars that you want to. You, you can basically force the universe to bend to your will just using that one stone. You could. You know, he chose to go the route of, I'm going to kill half of everybody. And I think they kind of made the point, too, like, how does that really work if you're saying you're removing half of life in the universe? Because it really does beg the question, what are you considering life? Are we talking vegetation? Are we talking animals? Is it only humanoid creatures? You know, what, never what's the definition? Never thought about it, but I mean, to me, it's like you kept that part simple. Mm-hmm because we didn't used to ask questions like that back in the day. Yeah. We just kind of accepted that what they meant by life was like coherent species like mm -hmm. like us. Like plants and whatnot would probably stay where it's at. But I mean, the animals and the humans, I think you got a case to ask a question there. Because if you're, if you're taking half the life, then the other half is probably going to starve because there's not enough that's food the, on the planet. Yeah. That's the thing. You know, you have all these societies that are built around, you know, having the manufacturing ability, the agricultural ability. Who's, re who's replacing all that lost labor? It's fair, yeah. I mean, the planet itself will thank you mm -hmm. because now it's not being toiled on as much and drained of its resources as fast. Yeah. So anything that happens after that, everybody's just going to have to be starting kind of over, you know? And, and that's the thing I'm kind of thinking about too, and they didn't discuss it, but like, what do you do when, you know, eventually all these societies recover? Because people aren't just going to stop, you know, living their lives and procreating and everything. Like, eventually you're going to have the same number of people in the universe again, then what do you do? And we'll get to that when we get to the next Avenger, uh, Avengers movie there, mm -hmm. because that, to me, seems like a big problem on the horizon, too. You know, the other thing is, when you're erasing half of life, it's like, I don't see you saying, is it half, is it every planet gets half taken, or is it, like, just half, and it's random? Right. So entire planets could, could actually be wiped out of their life. And you have other ones that are barely impacted at all. Yeah. And I think that was a common joke that I saw online after this movie came out, too. Is people were, you know, looking at the possibilities like, oh, I really wanted this person to disappear, but they didn't, but everyone else did. Like, you know, it's random. You don't know who's going away and who's not. I guess it all comes down to what's your thought process when you're going through this. Mm -hmm. Like, how did you picture this all? Like, are you going to just be fair about it and say everybody's going to... Because it seems like that's where he was leaning towards. It's like every. It's like I'm just gonna be fair because he was talking about it on his own home planet in the movie. How it's like it would be fair, you know. It's like this would include heads of states, the rich, everything. Mm -hmm. It would just be. It would just be, everybody would be equal to equal in this process of choosing who would get, who would get their life extinguished there. So that seemed like the 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 route he was going. They just 
sometimes they're not very clear on it. And I really don't see how it necessarily fixes the problem because, like you're saying, yeah, it's a possibility that the rich could disappear, but then what if they don't? Now you still have people out there who are filthy rich, who have a bunch of resources already hoarded. You have a bunch of people who are now kind of lost in the world because things have changed so much because of this event that they're really looking for some kind of leadership and now you have someone who has basically the means to go out there and buy their loyalty. So effectively, you've done nothing to really make the universe a better place. You've just put more more resources into the hands of fewer people. That's fair. And for that matter, I heard the question in Beg too. It's like, well, if the idea is to erase half the, half the life, why not just double or triple the resources that are currently available now? And I don't get that either. You have the reality stone. Like you said, you can make anything your reality. It's like, fine, then create some planets out of nowhere with more resources on them. Yeah, because if you can exterminate life, why can't you just create more resources? Yeah. It doesn't make any sense that you can do one and not the other. Exactly. Fam, we can go on forever about this. This is an easy topic to really have a good, ar good fun argument or a conversation on, but this video will just not end. So right. <laughs> I, think, I think it's fair that we stop, give you guys a chance to chime in too. If we've said something and you want to say it, by all means say it anyway, okay? Guys, as always, uh, if you're brand new to this channel, please, uh, please consider liking, subscribing, hit the bells, take a look at us on those things up there. And like and subscribe again uh also guys if you want to support this channel further please consider becoming a member by hitting that join button it's certainly not required and certainly not recommended <laughs> <laughs> but we would love to have you nonetheless <laughs> but this is cocktail flicks i'm joe i'm dan and we'll catch you on the flip side cheers to you fam cheers to you dan cheers to you joe later guys mm -hmm.